Hey y'all, I am sitting outside of a dermatologist's office. I just finished my appointment. They took out the stitches and um, they still don't know what's causing my hair loss besides lupus. Um, so I have good news and bad news. The good news is that there is no scarring. If there was scarring along with the hair loss, it would mean that there's been um, what they say permanent destruction of hair follicles. But I know that with God, all things are possible. So even if it was permanent, he can reverse it, okay? But I don't have that, okay? So there is non-scarring hair loss. Um, there is no alopecia areata. That was one of the concerns of my rheumatologist when he referred me to the dermatologist. And I was very concerned about that because alopecia is basically another autoimmune condition. And as I've already mentioned, I've been diagnosed with four autoimmune conditions and so I did not want a fifth one to deal with. But we still don't know what the problem is. Um, you can experience hair loss as a result of lupus, specifically this kind. Um, she did prescribe a topical solution I can use if I want to see if that helps. She said that I can try Rogaine. She can't guarantee that that will work, but it's an option. And then she also said that if I want, I can, um, she gave me a referral for a doctor at UNC that's like a hair loss specialist. So I'm going to decide if that's what I want to do, how I want to proceed. Um, again, I'm just glad that it is not alopecia. A few weeks ago when I first thought it was alopecia, I was so sad. And I have a group of friends, there are four of us, and we call ourselves the Quad. And so I sent out a text and told them what was going on. And one of my friends, Cleo, said, Kiki, do not claim that you have alopecia areata. And um, she had way more faith than me, okay? Because I was thinking, um, that's what it looks like, okay? I got small little patches. The, dirt, the rheumatologist says that's what it looks like. Everything I read says that's what it is. And so that's what it is. So praise God that she had more faith than me. I want to encourage you. You need people around you who can help build your faith. Because sometimes the struggle is real. You hear me? I had like, if they said mustard seed of faith, I, I have a mustard seed in my room and it's tiny. So maybe I had a mustard seed of faith. I hope so. That thing is little. If I don't have a mustard seed of faith, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> but either way, I needed her in my corner, standing with me, praying for me, encouraging me, challenging me. And if you don't have people like that in your life, pray and ask God for those kind of people because that's what I love about the quad, okay? We stand together, we fight together, we cry together, we laugh together, uh, but we are there for one another and we need that, especially if you are facing chronic illness. Like, you need to not be alone, okay? I encourage you to join a support group. I'm a part of a lupus support group. I'm actually wearing purple today because it's May 1st and the beginning of Lupus Awareness Month. And I wanna spread the word to let people know what lupus is, how it impacts me personally, and how you can be a part of helping us as we move forward and trying to find a cure. So anyway, that is the dealio. I do not have alopecia. I do not have any scarring. But I do not know what's going on, okay? But um, I am hopeful, okay? Because I have hope that I can figure out what's going on. But I was so encouraged to know that 
there's not permanent destruction. So my big fro, I just declare it's gonna make a comeback, okay? Oh, I miss my hair, I do. I miss it so much. But I am rocking my um, yellow mustard head wrap today. This is also from The Wrap Life. I like it because it perfectly matches my shirt. This is actually our shirt for our women's ministry, Wise Women Build, and it's based on Proverbs 14.1. A wise woman builds her house, but a foolish woman with her own hands tears hers down. I wanna be a wise woman who builds, okay? And I hope you do too. Have a great day. Bye.